What's up? My name is Merch Fab. It's going to be part 22 on the mongrel build. I just spent about two hours wrestling this rear subframe out the back of the car. Every single bolt rusted solid. I can't actually separate this from the diff because this bolt is seized into the uh, into the carrier and it's actually split the diff casing where the bolt goes through where I've been trying to get it out. So don't really know what I'm going to do with that. So I'm just going to hide it out of the way for now and um, pretend I haven't seen it. But um, what I want to get done today is um, make the brackets that are going to fit front and back of the car and get this car so it's actually sat on the uh, jigs and hopefully by the end of today we'll be able to roll it over and um, and I had loads of really good ideas in the comments from the last videos of ways that I could uh, you know improve it or make it easier to move around or make it more adjustable and this that and the other um, but I'm just going for the the quickest and easiest option for getting it um, doing what it needs to do and uh, yeah and that will be good enough for me so let's get cracking with that So this is what we got so far. And I'm just gonna get some really good tacks on it and then I can drop it off the stands and see how we're looking. It works! So it seems to be lined up pretty well. I'm not brave enough to uh, spin it all the way over until I've got these fully welded up, so I'm happy with that. It's, it's definitely uh, bottom heavy. Um, I, you know, I couldn't just spin it and it rotate around. It's wanting to swing down to the bottom. I'm gonna weld them on where they are and then we'll uh, see if we can spin it all the way over. Moment of truth, does she or doesn't she spin?
She's a spinner. All right, so now what I need to do is get this back on the axle stands and uh, I'm gonna make the locking plate for to go on the end of these. And I think what I'm actually gonna do is just get another piece of tube and just weld it underneath the uh, original hole and just get that um, pivot point a little bit better. So um, I just need to get this back up on the axle stands and then I'm gonna plasma cut out some circles I'm thinking that probably would have been a better height. So, I just cut a couple of tubes. And uh, weld them on straight under there. It'll be easy to make sure they're um, dead straight. And uh, it should spin over a little bit easier then. Alright, so I'm going to cut some perfect circles with this highly technical piece of kit right here. So I've just got some holes drilled to the centre where the circle is going to be. And then uh, bolt the precision instrument into place. Seriously. So that will basically just uh, one of them on either end, that will be welded onto this and then a tab off of this bit which will just 
bolt, you can just put a nut and bolt through and bolt it out tight and then it's not going to move anywhere. And uh, you could get away with just one of these at one end, but I'd like to have it so it's fixed both sides. That's uh, just going to make it a bit more sturdy. So I'll get everything back in place and then uh, weld it all together once it's all on. And um, yeah. So that is better, it's a lot easier to spin, but I'm happy with that for now. It does the job, what it's supposed to do, I can spin the car over. So yeah, next video is just going to be making up some little brackets, get our centrepiece in, get the wheels on it. So yeah, that is it for this one, cheers for watching, see you on the next one.